Freaks and welcome to another episode of Tone Quest. And this time we are going to explore the differences between an audio interface that's USB powered versus an audio interface with a dedicated power supply. Okay, the two audio interfaces here uh, that we want to demo is the Focusrite 2i4, very very popular. I think the 2i2 series is a more popular uh, device and that's USB powered complete with Phantom. Um, phantom power and all the things that you need for music production and recording and the next device is an 18i20 which is so seated right here on my computer desk it's my uh, as of late it's my go-to audio interface with all my professional recordings and my uh, sound mixing so um, the reason why I want to do this is because my friends and I uh, on the PreSonus webinar uh, webinars group we uh, discussed that um, the preamps of the of the powered USB interfaces have higher dynamic range or has a broader dynamic range than um, the preamps on uh, USB powered devices. Um, basically, they're louder. They're louder and they um, capture more frequencies. And so I've searched YouTube and the internet. And there are some claims, but there is no actual test if that is correct. So uh, right now, we're, I'm shooting this because I want to put that to the test, and that's what we are doing. Also, for those people who want to purchase um, audio interfaces, maybe you're an aspiring musician or an aspiring producer, record producer, or aspiring uh, musical director, or uh, this will this video can help you when choosing audio interfaces as well. Uh, maybe you need a bus powered for portability. It may also fall lacking in terms of dynamic range of your microphone input. So let's put that to the test, shall we? Um, we are hooked up um, with the Focusrite 2i4 and using the Audio Technica 3035 uh, condenser microphone. Phantom power is on. That's right. Check the sound of my voice. This is about four inches away. Check the sound of my voice. Four inches away. Okay. Checking the sound of my voice. This is four inches away. Check the sound of my voice. This is four inches away. Check the sound of my voice. One foot away. Check the sound of my voice. This is about one foot away. Check the sound of my voice. Close proximity. Check the sound of my voice. Close proximity. Check the sound of my voice. This is close proximity. Check the sound of my voice. This is close proximity. I had to say it. I had to say it, it was probably mean. I had to say it, I had to say it, it was probably mean. That's six inches away. I had to say it, I had to say it, it was probably mean. I had to say it, I had to say it, it was probably mean. This is about six inches away. I had to say it, I had to say it, it was probably me. That's close proximity. I had to say it, I had to say it, it was probably me. This is close proximity. I had to say it, I had to say it, it was probably me. That's one foot away. I had to say it, I had to say it, it was probably me. I had to say it, I had to say it, it was probably me. That's uh, 12 feet, uh, 12 inches away or one foot away.
how did you think of that um, that that comparison? I, I found that um, on the vocals it wasn't so, um, especially on the rec when, on the recorded vocals it wasn't so obvious, but there was still some differences, but not huge. But while while recording, there was a huge difference in my in my my personal experience while I was recording. It may be that the headphone amplifier of of the two of eighteen i twenty is much better than the two i four, which I think could be the case. When when we put the acoustic guitar in, the eighteen i twenty just really blew smoked the two i four in terms of dynamic range, and they were both set to twelve noon on the Taylor uh, and twelve noon on on each of their volumes so I think that alone can say that the 18, 20, 18 i20 has better dynamic range in terms of in terms of um, input signal in terms of uh, the ADVA conversion or audio digital uh, analog to digital and digital to analog conversion um, I find that the 18 i20 has a clearer quality to it as well when I'm doing the playback on the headphones, I found it easier to listen to. And of course, if, you, if it's easier to listen to, maybe it's easier to mix. And the he maybe it's also on the headphone amplifier. I, I, don't, I really don't know, but um, it's really, you know, there's, some, there's more sparkle to it compared to the 2i4. So there. Um, tell me your thoughts on the comments and also when buying an interface, um, always consider um, the features and if it's bus powered or is it, uh, is it does it have a sec uh, separate power supply? Um, you know, there's a small difference, but you know that small difference, it it's huge in the in the realm of recording. So that's it, guys. Uh, Marco Roboto out. Thanks for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.